friends regression linear regression and this time we are with a very special case and that is from the following information obtain the two lines of regression that means we need to find out the equations of lines of regression the information available is sigma x square 1025 sigma x 95 sigma y square 1730 Sigma y 130, bxy readily available 1.4 and coefficient of correlation rho 0.8. To find out or to obtain the two lines of regression, we should have four things. Two coefficients of regression, byx and bxy and two means x bar and y bar. bxy is readily available. We also have the coefficient of correlation. The easiest way to find out BYX is to use these two and the relationship between the three coefficients. Okay, let's find out it. As we know that coefficient of correlation equals to square root of the product of the two coefficients of regression. That means 0.8 equals to under root byx into 1.4 that means 0.8 equals to 1.4 byx square root now taking both the square both the sides this is 0.64 and this is 1.4 byx that means byx is 0.64 divided by 1.4 that is 0.457 So very easily we found the other coefficient of regression BYX. Now we have all the two coefficients of regression. We just need two means to reach or to arrive at the two lines of regression. Means X bar equals to sigma X upon N, Y bar equals to sigma Y upon N. We have sigma X 95, sigma Y 30 but we don't have n the number of observations that means we first need to find out the value of n and this is the main point of this case i have selected this case for discussion just because it covers a point of finding n this is a very rare case how to find n you can have in your mind so many ways but the easiest way is to take the ratio of the two coefficients of regression and then to find out the value of n. Let's do it. Byx equals to Bxy. What will it will be n sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y upon Byx means n sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square bxy means n sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y upon n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square i'm writing it in another way some repetition is there but i want to make it easy as easy as possible n sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y upon n sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square divided by n sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y upon n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square my intention is to make it as easy as possible for the students Lightly saying, even the last benchers. So I am repeating some of the steps. Therefore, BYX into BXY equals to, yes, division means, division by any fraction means multiplication by the inverse of that fraction. So it will be sigma XY minus sigma X sigma Y upon n sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square multiplied by the inverse of this n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square 
अपॉन एन सिग्मा एक्स वाई माइनस सिग्मा एक्स सिग्मा वाई नाउ वी कैन कैंसल दीज टू सो अल्टीमेटली बी वाई एक्स सिंग टू बी एक्स वाई इक्वल टू एन सिग्मा वाई स्क्वेर माइनस सिग्मा वाई द होल स्क्वेर अपॉन एन सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस सिग्मा एक्स द होल स्क्वेर लेट एस सब्सटीट्यूट नाउ द वैल्यूज वॉट आर द वैल्यूज यस दे आर बी वाई एक्स इज पॉइंट फोर फाइव सेवन अपॉन बी एक्स वाई वन पॉइंट फोर equals to n into sigma y square that means n into 1730 minus sigma y is 130 the whole square upon n into sigma x square means 1025 minus sigma x that is 95 the whole square that means 0.457 upon 1.4 equals to 1730 n minus 16900 1025n minus 9025. Now we have the way available is cross multiplication. Let's go for it. Cross multiplication 0.457 into 1025n minus 9025 equals to 1.4 into 1730n minus 16900. so now we need to open the bracket by multiplying with the factor outside the brackets so this will be 460 468.425 468.425n minus 4120 4.425 equals to 1.4 into 1730 that is 2422 n minus 16900 into 1.4 23660 therefore now common factors this will be positive on this side 23660 minus 4124.425 equals to 2422 n minus 468.425 and that means it will be 19535 0.575 equals to 1953.575 n. Therefore, n will be 19535.575 upon 1953.575. So n is approximately 10, and n is always integer. So n is 10 in this case. now we have n sigma x and sigma y that means we can find out the two means yes x bar will be sigma x upon n that is 95 upon 10 therefore x bar equals to 9.5 similarly y bar equals to sigma y upon n that is 130 upon 10 therefore y bar equals to 13 now we have the two coefficients bxy byx x bar y bar so now we can find out the two lines of regression the line of regression first we are going to find out of y on x okay and the standard form is y cap equals to a plus bx where bx stands for byx but first we have to find out a that is y bar minus b y x into x bar y bar is 13 minus b y x 0.457 into x bar 9.5 so a comes to Eight point, or rather thirteen minus four point three four one five. So A comes to eight point six five eight five. Okay. Therefore, and as we know that B stands for B Y X, 
that is 0.457 so the line of regression or more precisely the equation of the line of regression of y on x is 8.6585 plus 0.457x now it is turn of the line of regression of x on y the standard form is x cap equals to c plus by where b stands for bxy but first of all let's find c that is x bar minus bxy into y bar that is 9.5 minus 1.4 into 13 that is 9.5 minus 18.2 therefore c equals to 8.7 and as we know that B stands for BXY that is 1.4 so the line of regression or equation of line of regression of X on Y is 8.7 negative plus 1.4 Y or 1.4 Y minus 8.7 in this way with the incomplete information available first we found b by x on the basis of the relationship between the two coefficients then we found the value of approximate value of n on the basis of the ratio of b y x to b x y we can find it by the ratio of b x y to b y x it's matter of common sense then we were available to find out the two means and that means now we had BYX, BX, and 2 means so we can find out the equations of the lines of regression. As I told earlier, this is a special kind of case. After studying the whole chapter in a good manner, and when you are confident about all other sums, then only I advise you to go for this kind of cases. That's it. Thank you very much.